Brimager had moved with Yvonne to Island Paradise in Panama, but just a few weeks after she goes missing, he marries the mother of his secret love child. So at first, he's charged and arrested. Where is he taken down? He was arrested in his home in Carlsbad, California, which is actually the home of Kristen Werko. The woman Brian married right after coming back from Panama without Yvonne. Initially, he was charged with obstruction of justice and making false statements to federal officers. When he was interviewed, he lied about having Yvonne's computer, lied about beating Yvonne, lied about impersonating her through emails. He lied about multiple things with the intent to obstruct justice. It wasn't the charge Yvonne's family was hoping for, but at the very least, Brian was off the streets. Still, even when confronted with his own lies, Brian continued to deny having anything to do with Yvonne's disappearance. But then, roughly one month after his arrest, breaking news out of Panama. There was a Panamanian man who lived out in the middle of this jungle and he was building a trail from his hut out to the coast. And he was chopping away with his machete and he came across a military style duffel bag. He slit the top of it open with his machete and Yvonne's skull rolled out in front of him. Are all of the body parts there? No, uh, they were not able to find an entire skeleton. What was that night like for you? because they didn't find all her remains. That was hard. That was hard to know that there was pieces of her missing. Large, uniformed cuts in many of the bones tell at least part of the gory tale. It's just very hard to think that she was dropped up. But even with Yvonne's remains found, Brian remained silent while the prosecution worked with Yvonne's family to build its case. Unfortunately for the prosecution star witness, time was running out. You know, this is one of the most tragic parts of this case. Uh, Yvonne's sister, Michelle Valenzuela, was diagnosed with breast cancer. During the time that she was so desperately trying to find her sister, and so desperately trying to find justice for her sister, she wasn't taking proper care of herself. She was so focused on her sister that she missed a lump in her breast. By the time her sister's body was finally found, the cancer had metastasized to Michelle's brain. They weren't certain how much longer she would be available and coherent, and so we sought an emergency deposition of a potential witness because we didn't believe that she would be able to make it all the way to trial. Good afternoon, Ms. Valenzuela. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. For as long as she could, this is my sister, Yvonne Baldelli. Michelle sat across the table from the man she knew killed her sister and set her peace. Since dropping off at the airport with the defendant, did you ever see your sister again? No. Brian said nothing. I was saying that he murdered my sister. After the deposition, we wheeled her back to the hotel room. She asked how she did. We told her she did great, and uh, she went to sleep, and she never regained consciousness again. You know, you couldn't have had a better sister than Michelle. She's a champion. She's a champion. To use the last moments of her life to sit down and to give everything she could. It uh, was one of the strongest demonstrations of strength and fortitude that I've ever seen. Mr. Brimager really took both of their daughters. But still, Brian copped to nothing. Something that was about to become much harder to do because of one key piece of evidence. That machete was found. It was. Coming up. He needed to get her to be small enough to fit in a backpack. Shocking first-hand details about what happened that night and we believe this is Kristen's house. Tough questions for Brian's new bride. Someone's coming. 